Hello everyone! Hi everybody! And welcome to an, a fun episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. Or Superman, <laughs> actually. <laughs> You're always my Superman. Oh, thank you. Um, guys, it's a little blank here in the studio. I know, Whoa, it's why crazy. Is that? There's like nothing. Nothing so... on the walls. I know. It's because as you watch this episode, which we pre-recorded a little while ago, we'll be driving across country heading to our new home. Yep, in Dallas. And uh, around the second week in March, all the episodes that you see going forward are actually going to come from the new home. I know. Yeah, so we'll take you on a little tour. We'll show you the new studio and we'll, we'll do that a little closer to the time. But until then, let's talk about today's episode. Let's. Um, again, we've had a lot of requests for the different, to show the difference between straight pores and ring pores. And we've done this kind of episode mm. before, but we pick really lovely colors. And mm. I really love a straight paw. And I really love a rect ring. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> we're, go we're gonna do it again. Um, we've got some delicious golden colors for you all. Or should I start saying, y'all, ahead of my little <laughs> trip to Texas. Um, Please don't. I'm gonna start saying it. <laughs> On every episode, it'll be y'all. Um, so, we've got some golden colours which we really, really love. And a couple of like pearl Arteza colours in here too. Yes. Mm, it's going to be delicious, I feel. Mm -hmm. um, if you're joining us for the first time today, please consider like, subscribing. Because we yeah. really appreciate it. We've got a little mini goal to ourselves of 10,000 subscribers to hit. Yes. And everyone else, thank you for being here, for liking and, and, and being already a subscriber. We appreciate you. Um, let's get to it. Let's get to pouring. I'm very excited to pour I these colours. Yeah, we too. will see you at the table. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone, I am so excited because today is a glorious colour day. It is a glorious colour day. <laughs> and you're wrecking your ring, which I know that you love. And I am wrecking. I got my Wolverine here. Right. Um, and I got my big comb. Just in case. Yes. And let me introduce the paints that we have, which are going to be amazing. Um, I have the Pearl Sea Green by Arteza. I have the Pearl Lime Green by Arteza. Ooh, I, I know you love that color. Mm -hmm. um, I have the Dioxazine Purple by Goldens. I have Jenkins Greens. Uh, Jenkins Green by Golden. <laughs> or Jenkins Greens. <laughs> or Greens, you know, multiple. Um, uh, Deco Arts 24 Karat Golds. Mm -hmm. I have Golden's Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. Love that color. Love this color. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mina Villegas, for introducing that to us. For the first time, right? Yeah. Prussian Blue by Golden's. And that's it. And your base have, coat color. And my base coat color, which is a Blick Acrylic um, Metallic Gold. Yes. Now, don't forget, guys, we are Blick Affiliates. So the information will be in the description box. If you yeah. do want to purchase any paints from Blick, yeah, if you, you follow that totally link, that. then we, as a studio here, will see a tiny little percentage as a, as a discount. So thank you for that. Yes. And that is my colors. Right. Yeah, we got some like seven colors going on here. So this is going to be very interesting. Well, you can use them in, you know, varying degrees. Yeah. I'm not suggesting that you use them all like, you know, Willy Wonka in a chocolate factory. Well, that's how I like to I do know, it. exactly. So, all right. So I've got a 20 by 20 canvas. It is taped and pinned on the back. Mm -hmm. um, let me get that on there. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. So why don't we go ahead and layer my cup? Let's do it. Let's do it. I gotta say it is nice that we mixed our own colors rather than just using leftovers, which we have done for yeah. a couple of episodes. Yeah. Now these have just recently been mixed. I whipped these to within an inch of, of their, their lives. lives. So um, <laughs> there's gonna be bubbles galore in here. I'm wondering if it'd be possible for you not to be lifting up the cup. Okay, yeah, that would sure. Be an awesome source for me. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Now, as you can see, as Jeremy's pouring these colors into the cup, this is the everything else recipe, which is found on episode number 54, 
which is our mixing recipe video. Um, it's, a, it's a thick consistency. It, it mounds and then disappears, but it's a nice thick pouring consistency. So this is 50% Floetrol, 25% Liquitex Gloss Medium, 25% paint. And because there's Goldens in here and these are heavy body, then um, some of these do have a tad ski of water added to them to get them the same thickness as everything else. Usually the pearls and the metallics don't need any water because they are just a little bit of a thinner consistency already, but the heavy body paints definitely need a little bit of slackening up. Okay. I think that's enough. That is a beautiful cup that you Thank have you. there, sir. Excited for this one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Got my cup layered. Are you going to be ringing into a puddle today, sir, or are you not? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you for reminding me about that because I was so excited. I was just going to go for it. Okay. That should be plenty. It's just a little puddle. Yeah. I love, how little, Jeremy, little I love how Jeremy is afraid to get his gloved hands dirty, which is the <laughs> whole point of wearing a glove in the first place. It's so cute. <laughs> I like tidy. I see that. <laughs> All right, on you go. I'm doing Mina Vallega style. That is one beautiful ring. Why, thank you. Now, I'm going to torch it. Be careful, because last time it was like... Okay, now it's time to flood my canvas. All right, guys, I got my wrecker here and I'm going to Wolverine this thing. Let's see here. Got some really interesting cells already popping up. I know, gold. I know, right yeah, here, yeah, really through gold. here. Yeah, so I think I'm going to wreck it going here. Maybe just right there. Hmm. All right, guys, what time is it? It's it is tilting time. time.
Okay guys, I'm done. I am so in love with this. I love the green that Jenkins green. Jenkins greens. <laughs> Jenkins, Jenkins green. got to read his um, greens. It is so amazing. And just those little pops of that Nico Azo gold through here. Right. And the purples. And I, I, I had no idea this was going to be the outcome of this piece. And I just love it. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I'm hoping that it dries a little bit lighter, like through the, um, through that, what's the color, the light green again, the pearl? The lime green. Pearl lime green, that's what I thought it was. Um, I hope that dries a little bit lighter to really give that contrast. Um, yeah, I, I, I love this. I hope you guys love it too. Uh, let me know in the comments. And um, we're gonna go ahead and clean up my edges and take you in for a close up. Something I've never done on the channel so far, but I did it today, is forget to press the record button on the camera. So I just waffled and poured a cup and you didn't get to see any of it. Now, thankfully, Jeremy did get it on his iPhone. Sure did. Yeah, sure did. So <laughs> what I'm gonna do is tell you that I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas using exactly the same colors that Jeremy's got. Now, let me cut to you layering my pot. So I'm thinking I would really like the center to be a little bit of the Azo and a little bit of the Jenkins. So those are the two colors that are gonna go in first. Okay. Then let's go in with this pearl sea green, mm. just a thin layer. Such a beautiful color. Because that's gonna help me separate my darker, stronger colors. Let's go in with the Prussian. Then I'm gonna go in with my First bit of gold, because I've not done that yet. Okay. Then in with the dioxazine, which I really love. Okay. And let's put some of this lime green next to the dioxazine. It's interesting to see what's going to happen there. Let's go back in with the Nicolazzo. Okay. Now I'm going to do some more gold. This cup is layering so pretty. Thank you, baby. And with some of the green. Then let's go green on green. And then let's do blue. And then finally, we'll put some gold. And I'm gonna pour into a gold puddle too. Are you? Yes. There we go. So that is my cup. Again. Okay. okay, so thankfully Jeremy got all that footage. That, that was me layering my pot. What I didn't get to tell you is I'm gonna straight pour that onto this canvas. So let's pick it up from here. Now I've got my 24 karat gold here in, in this cup and I'm going to layer into a golden puddle. A golden puddle? I want a golden puddle, Daddy. <laughs> okay, so here is my cup. I'm now going to straight pour this one onto this canvas, right into this little puddle right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, now I didn't want too many of those little ribbons in the middle because I didn't want this whole piece just to be about those little ribbons. Now it does look particularly dark on the camera, but it's because I've got some dark colors in there, you know? Um, now with my Blick Gold, I'm going to just flood this canvas.
All right, so I've got my gold flood flow extender, which is that eight, $9 Blick acrylic, and I've got this wonderful straight pour puddle in the middle. It is now time to tilt. It's tilting time. It is indeed. Let's tilt this bad boy out. Yeah. 
All right, folks, I really love this. I'm so happy with it. Um, I like this kind of mossy green, which is the Jenkins that I've got in patches on here, <laughs> interspersed with the quinacridone and the gold together, which is just a really wonderful combination. Um, I didn't love that I had so much of the Prussian blue off in, in this corner, so I tilted it, as you just saw me get rid of some of it. But I do love the Prussian blue lines that I've got because all the cells are popping up underneath it. And the dioxazine pur purple here next to the nickel as always, really pretty. So um, lots of things to focus on on this piece, lots of points of interest, and I love it. So I'm going to torch it real quick. I'm gonna get my edges, and we're gonna take you in for a close up because there's a lot to see here for sure. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. I uh, loved those colors. I know, me too. Yeah. I think they came out really amazing. I don't know what it is. I, I, my orange is not my favorite color, but all of a sudden I can't stop using it either as a base coat or in my pores. That, quin that quinacridone burnt orange is a favorite of mine, but this nickel as a gold. gold. So amazing. Stunning color, especially next to gold yeah. or next to turquoise. It's got two yeah. real close friends that is always yes. stunning next to. Um, as always, I loved your rec ring. It was great. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you, and I loved your straight pull. Thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, your rec rings always have this kind of fantastic compositions to them. Mm, I have a feeling I might do one very soon. Mm. We'll see. We'll uh, see. Well, we will see. <laughs> All right, guys, we hope that you love these. Let's take you in to see these pieces just one last time. So what did you think? Um, I Again, I just thought this was stunning. I, I We always say that 50% of a really good piece is really good colors. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that we picked some corkers. Yes, um, I, I do believe it was a very successful pull. I, I do believe it was a very successful pull. <laughs> that was very British of you. <laughs> um, thank you so much for, for all of the love and the support. We yes. appreciate you. Thank you for liking and subscribing and being here with us and chatting to us in this premiere. Yeah. Um, please let us know what you think about these pores. Um, everyone, please be safe. Keep warm and dry. I know there's a, a cold front a coming, um, so we hope that you're all doing really well. And um, I got nothing else to say. Yeah, I'm good too. Yeah, let's let's let you guys get on with the rest of your day. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you on the very next episode. All right, guys. Good Bye evening, guys. everyone. We'll see you soon. So, there are some extra special people that we really want to thank, and that's our Patreons. Yes. Or we like to call them the Massey Posse. Our Patreon account is something very separate to YouTube. Um, but what it does is it allows certain people the opportunity to come and get an extra special look I at know. the studio. It does. And um, there are different levels, and within the different levels you get different perks. The perks range from things like sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos. Yes all the way through to live chats with us in a WhatsApp group that we set up for certain levels, um, all the way through to being able to come on to tutorials once a month yes. and live streams once a month. And our diamond level pourers will also get the opportunity to pick the colors for one episode we pour on 11 by 14 canvases and then that person, the people at the platinum, the diamond level will get the chance to pick one of those two canvases. Yes. So it's super, super fun. Um, and we've got some special people to thank. So at the gold level, we've got Gloria, AKA Glitzy. We've got Jen Riley. We've got Jane Klein. 
we've got Trisha West, West, we've got Janice Pittman, and we've got Janice Swansea. Yes. Thank you to our gold borers. We also have at the platinum level, Leslie Beaver, and our diamond pourer, someone you all know and love, that's Sparkles, Laurie Finzer. Yes. So thank you so much to everyone at those levels. Also here listed beneath is everyone else um, at all the other levels. We really appreciate you. We thank you for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio. Thank you so much, Patreons.